Okay, so there is a lot to talk about. Firstly, some announcements. I'm going to be talking about a lot more than Ben 10 in the future of this channel. I'm going to be talking about My Hero Academia, Pokemon, specifically Charizard, and One Punch Man. Well, but, uh, they have some relevance to the things that I talked about on this channel, too. And, uh, I'm feeling a lot better now, also, so I'll be posting a lot more frequently. And, uh, I've got a lot more, uh, I've got a lot of new ideas for the channel, too. So I'm gonna just, uh, uh continue watching this channel. Please like and subscribe, and, uh, let's begin with... Ben's most powerful aliens. All right, so the first alien I want to get out of the way is, well, I've talked about him so many times on the channel before. So, way big. What else is there to say? What haven't I said? He's born from a collapsing star, so he can probably bust stars. He can create cosmic storms, dodge and react to uh, faster than light attacks, uh, and blow up planets with his uh, cosmic rays. And can even hurt uh, uh, a living energy demon. With his and with his uh, cosmic race too, so um, yeah, way biggest prey powerful and definitely Ben's second most powerful alien. Next is Clockwork. Clockwork uh, on his own is actually incredibly weak. He can't hit a hard punch, he's not that durable, and he's very clumsy and slow. But what he lacks in physical strength, he makes up in time manipulating power. He once absorbed a Chrono Sapien time bomb, which wiped out all the universes in the multiverse and all timelines except for one, which is an insane amount of power. So his time energy absorption powers and time powers is on a multiversal scale. And we're not even done talking about multiverses yet. Just you wait. on the powers other energy absorbers this is still a pretty powerful energy absorber being chromostone he wants to absorb the power of three stars and created a planet that is an insane amount of absorbing power so uh go chromostone hell yeah anyway that's about it for chromostone Uh, energy absorber is feedback. He once absorbed the energy of a f of the entire Big Bang and fired it back at uh, the fucking bastard that I cannot pronounce his name, Malturant or Nalturant, or however you fucking pronounce his name. He fired that bitch right at his face and fucking created a time loop. So, uh, yeah, feedback's energy absorption powers is on a universal scale that is insane and while we won't come across an alien and to be that level of power yet uh you know because we're gonna be talking about a specific alien that everybody loves but it, it, there are other notable aliens before we get to that last alien 
So here we go. attack he has the ability to control and manipulate gravity which on itself is pretty powerful but he has the ability to create a black holes black holes the black holes that he created have the power to destroy a planet and uh, if we assume that if we're it, if he were to create a black hole that powerful enough as a star, then he would be star level. Star level. There are a lot of star level characters that Ben in the Ben 10 universe and aliens that Ben can turn into. So uh, let's continue with other powerful aliens. alien is atomics he has the ability to control and manipulate an unknown amount of nuclear energy literally he literally has the power to create fucking nukes basically his his punches has the power of nukes and his uh he has the ability to make a mini sun that can last indefinitely which is quite insane so atomics is one powerful robot Goku man. <laughs> you know, just game boys and so on. And, and, and anyway, anyway. The one, the only, the almighty powerful Alien X. Let's start with his smaller feats. <laughs> and trust me, despite them being his smallest feats, they're not, they're not small in the slightest. And go to his more larger feats. So, Alien X once survived a universe exploding in his face and did not feel a thing. So, when I first uh, heard about this and saw it in action, I assumed that he was, <clears throat> this was ten times more powerful than Universal, and that was his limit. Uh, I assumed ten because I had the belief that, uh, at the time, that his ultimates are ten times more powerful than their base forms, and, uh, <clears throat> and also, uh, I thought it would be pretty fitting since it's been 10 but now I have revived both of those statements and now I understand that he's way more powerful than 10 times uh, universal uh, a second thing that he did was he cut through a uh, a five-dimensional multiversal shield made by the contamalia so um Yes, this was done by Skurd using uh, his Celestial Sapien DNA, but he, he would not be able to do that unless he had Celestial Sapien DNA. So whatever Skurd can do, his aliens can also do. So, Skurd can actually create, I mean, Alien X can actually break a five-dimensional mul multiversal shield, placing him at high complex multiversal plus and we're not even done it is confirmed that alien X is more powerful than the Nalgians the Nalgians are super powerful so um they give you an idea of how powerful they are so they have babies right you know, as any other species, and as any responsible species, 
They would give. They would only want to get their children safe baby toys that would not harm them. These so-called non-harmful toys to their babies had the ability to destroy multi the multiverse or the universe. I wasn't paying attention, but if we assume the multiverse and and I, I think that's pretty uh, logical, if you would not agree with me, then Alien X is hyperversal. I mean, he's probably already hyperversal, since how he broke the shield with uh, less than one sixteenth of his power, and it was done by uh, uh, Scourge using a partial bit of his DNA, and he did it with ease. He's probably already at hyperversal, but if we assume that uh, uh, the Nalgians, uh toys that they give to their children are multiversal, then that means adult Nalgians are hyperversal on their own. The reason why I say this is because if that if a toy that has the ability to sh destroy the multiverse is considered harmless to a baby Nalgian, then think about how powerful an adult Nalgian is. <clears throat> so, if Alien X is more powerful than a Nalgian, then he is hyperversal plus, and plus by a, a lot of pluses. Alien X is one of the most powerful characters in all of fiction. Right up, possibly right up there with, uh, uh, damn it, what's it called? Anti-Monitor. The fucking Anti-Monitors is probably where he would be up at. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know much about uh, the most powerful characters in DC, but, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it with this little mini-series of Ben's Most Powerful Aliens. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.